Hi, I'm Mike, founder of Goodbed. Today we're going to be taking you through some brand new models that have just been added to the Beautyrest Black Collection on both the quilted and hybrid sides of the line. They're called B-Class. We're excited to show them to you. Stick around. So let me start out by providing a little bit of context as to where these B-Class models fit in within the broader Beautyrest Black Collection. The first thing you need to understand is the nomenclature that Beautyrest uses for naming their models revolves around the word black, and specifically the order of the letters that spell that word, B-L-A-C-K. So the K-Class models, those are the highest levels within Beautyrest Black, then the C-Class falls below that, L-Class previously was the beginning of the line, and now they have added the B-Class below that as even the more entry-level part of this line. Now why did they do that? Well, what they wanted to do was make this very popular lineup of mattresses available at an even more uh, appealing price point that it could uh, allow it to be accessible to a broader audience of people. Now what I think is interesting about that is that the key signature kind of hallmark feature that Beautyrest Black has always been known for that probably is the biggest draw for most people to buy a mattress from this brand is its T3 coil. So here's what this T3 coil is. It is a triple strand of wire, essentially three uh, actually separate wires that are uh, twisted together into a single strand, uh, much like the way the wire of a suspension bridge might be stranded together. And that makes it a really strong, beefy, sturdy, firm, supportive coil. And they've been using this coil forever. It is, like I said, the signature feature, the main draw perhaps for most people or a lot of people to Beautyrest Black products. And what they've done is made this feature available at this lower price point because this feature, this same coil unit that you get in every Beautyrest Black is available in all six of the new B-Class models. Now, if you haven't already done so, I'd suggest that you go and watch the other videos that we've done of the Beautyrest Black collection, specifically the, our full coverage of the Beautyrest Black Hybrid and Beautyrest Black Quilted collections where we go into much more detail about this T3 coil, its benefits, how it works, as well as how it's used in these mattresses. And we talk about some of the other features of this overall Beautyrest Black support unit that are also gonna be present in all of these B-Class models, such as the zoning in the center third of the mattress to support to provide more support for the heaviest part of your body and also the edge support which is what they call beauty edge which is what gives these mattresses a nice firm edge so we go into more detail about those features how they work and kind of uh what what they look like inside the mattress in those other videos check those out if that's something of interest to you but just know for the purposes of this video that all of those features everything related to this Beautyrest Black support layer of the mattress that we talk about in those videos is going to be present in the Beautyrest Black B-Class models that we show you here in this video. Now, before we get into the specific models that they're adding to these uh, quilted and hybrid sides of the Beautyrest Black lineup, I wanna just also talk about a couple other key features that they have carried down to these B-Class models from the rest of the Beautyrest Black collection that we did cover in those other videos, but I just wanna call them out here for those of you who haven't watched those videos and also just so you know which of those features you're gonna find in these mattresses. For example, we did talk about how there is what, what is called phase change material. Sometimes it's called PCM, that's an abbreviation, in the top of these mattresses, right on the cover of these mattresses. So phase change material is essentially tiny wax beads that when uh, heat from your body reaches them, they change phases from a solid to a liquid. Why does that even matter? Why would you want that? Well, when something is changing phases like that is essentially drawing heat from your body and that the act of drawing heat from your body is what creates a sense of coolness to the touch. So as you feel something that is drawing heat away from you, it feels cool to the touch. And that's what these do. They just add a little bit of coolness to the touch. There's not quite as much of that material in these uh, B-Class models as there is as you move up in the line into L, C, and K. However, there is still that same exact phase change material. And just like we described in the other videos, this particular form of phase change material is also plant-based, which basically means that the wax used here in this phase change material, instead of being petroleum-based, which is more the convention in the industry, it is actually used, uh, made from canola seed oil. So that is a, a natural byproduct. So that is just another little bonus to the extent that uh, having a product that is more natural is something that is appealing to you like it is to many people. And while we're on the subject of these covers, I should also just mention that another thing we talk about in those videos is that they did apply an antimicrobial treatment to all the covers in the Beautyrest Black lineup that we showed you in the other videos. And that again is something that would be 
uh, available in these B-Class models as well. And just a final point about these covers would be that, of course, you'll also notice the uh, similar design system where they use a striping, a, a specific color stripe, to signify where you are in the collection, uh, just like they did with L, C, and K. In the case of the B-Class, that, that signature stripe is going to be the white stripe. So you'll see that on all of the six models that we show you today. Now, switching gears to what's inside the mattress, specifically what is in between the cover and the support unit that we already talked about, the main key thing that all of these new B-Class models is going to have in common is uh, the use of what they call beauty rest gel memory foam. So this is a, a gel memory foam that we've already seen used in elsewhere in the beauty rest black quilted collection. Um, and now we're gonna see it used in all of these new B-Class models, both on the quilted and the hybrid side of the line. And the last high level point I'll make here for context is if you're wondering what you get if you step up from the B class, these new models, to the previous entry point of this Beauty Rest Black collection, the L class, that next level up. Essentially, uh, you get in both the hybrid and the quilted models, you get a little bit more of that phase change material. Well, actually not a little bit more, you get twice as much. You get another layer of that phase change material. And so when you have two layers of it, they give it the name black ice. So we talked about the term black ice when we first introduced this plant-based PCM to you in our other Beauty Rest Black videos. Uh, so this is that same material that comprises black ice, it's just not as much of it. So when you step up to the L class, you get the, you know, double the amount and that's what they give the name black ice to. So that's one thing that you get across, again, quilted and hybrids uh, when you go to the L class level. The other thing you get, whether you're on the quilted or hybrid side, is more memory foam. So on the quilted side, they have a layer of called surface touch memory foam, which is right up at the top of the mattress in all the L classes and beyond. So that is about an inch or three quarters of an inch right up at the top of the mattress that gets added as you step up to that level. And then in the case of the hybrids, you actually get even more memory foam added. And it's also a little bit higher density of some HD memory foams coming into play, starting in those LX models and beyond. So it's essentially more cooling, more memory foam as you move up from B-Class to where the collection previously started. All right, so now we're gonna get into the specific models that are being added in this Beautyrest B class, starting with the entry level of all of them, which is on the quilted side of the collection, the Beautyrest Black B class Extra Firm, the one that I'm on right now. This is not quite the firmest model in all of Beautyrest Black. That distinction would go to the C class Extra Firm, but nonetheless, this is a very firm model. In fact, very firm is how we would classify it on our softness spectrum, which by the way, for context, starts at medium, let's say in the middle, and then goes to medium firm, firm, and then to very firm. That C class, just FYI, is an ultra firm. That's our firmest category, uh, but this is just short of that. And there's not many mattresses anywhere that are in that firmest category for context as well. Nonetheless, this is a very firm mattress. And we would also say as it relates to cushioning depth, which is kind of the difference between sleeping in your mattress versus on your mattress. This is one that certainly has shallower than average cushioning depth, which means you're gonna get more of that floating above your mattress sensation rather than that hugged or cradled sensation. In terms of memory feel, there is some memory foam in this mattress like we described you're not likely to feel it so much in terms of that, a lot of that slow melting sensation. You do get a little bit of delayed recovery though. Uh, bounce wise, this definitely is a mattress that does have some bounce coming from those uh, beefy T3 coils. And edge support wise, you can see even right here, this is a mattress that has excellent, in fact, exceptional edge support, which is our absolute highest categorization there. All right, so now we've moved up to the next model in this collection, the B-Class Medium. And before I get into the feel characteristics of this model, I wanna inject something that I probably should have mentioned prior to talking about the extra firm, which is that when we talk about feel characteristics and our assessments of a mattress, such as the softness, the cushioning depth, the memory feel, and the bounce, these are all preference-based uh, criteria. These are nothing universally better or worse. They're simply a matter of your personal preferences. So uh, I just want to make sure that that's clear as we provide our take and assessments on these mattresses. Now, with that being said, this medium is very 
medium and very average, but not, again, in a better or worse sense, only in a kind of where it falls as it relates to the spectrum of preference-related criteria. So as it relates to softness, for example, we would classify this as a dead-on medium on our softness spectrum. As it relates to cushioning depth, likewise, it is average amount of cushioning depth, meaning that kind of even blend of sleeping on your mattress and sleeping in it. Uh, as it relates to the amount of memory feel, likewise, we'd say it's about average. So you feel the memory foam more so than you do on the extra firm, but not enough to, that we would say it's more than the average mattress, recognizing that memory foam is so pervasive today in mattresses that the average mattress, I should say, does have some amount of memory feel. So this mattress has an average amount of memory feel. It does have an above average though, amount of bounce, again, stemming from those beefy T3 coils. As it relates to edge support, we of course again looked at that here and we'd still found edge support here excellent. All right, now we've moved on to the B-Class Plush, still within this quilted side of the Beautyrest Black collection. This is a mattress that we would categorize as very soft on our softness spectrum. So on the soft side, our spectrum goes from medium to medium soft, to soft to very soft. That's where we put this one. Uh, and I should point out, by the way, that one of the reasons why there can be such a broad range of feels available in this lineup is that what Beautyrest does with its coil units is they do use um, the T3 coils, of course, across uh, everywhere in the mattress, every other row, because if you made the entire coil system out of T3 coils, it would just be too firm, too firm for, to give you the conformance that you need and the pressure relief. So what they do is they use them every other row, and then on the in-between rows, they use they have sort of two versions of the, 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 the in-between coils, a firmer version and a slightly softer version. And so those, uh, these, the plush models, like the one I'm on right now, use that slightly softer version every other row, and that gives them more softness, not only up in the top of the mattress, where they certainly are also using softer cushioning materials, but also down in the support layer. And that gives it a, a, the ability to be uh, very soft on our softness spectrum, but also uh, very deep cushioning. So this is going to have the kind of w towards the highest end of the amount of conformance that you can find, the amount of that sleeping in your mattress or hugged or cradled sensation that you can get in a mattress. You're going to find that here. As it relates to the memory feel and the bounce, that's going to be similar to uh, what we talked about on the medium, which is to say about an average amount of memory feel and an above average amount of bounce. Edge support wise, I think the, the fundamental uh, edge support feature here is the same, of course, but with all of this softness on the top of the mattress, the overall effective edge support is not quite as good as what we saw in the medium, but still very good on our classification spectrum. All right, now we've moved up to the last of the quilted B-Class models, the B-Class plush pillow top. This model we would also classify as a very soft on our softness spectrum. However, we didn't find it to have quite as much cushioning depth, which is a little bit counterintuitive because it is a pillow top. But nonetheless, we didn't get quite as much of that uh, sinkage as well or, or conformance that we had on the plush tight top. So a little bit less of that sleeping in your mattress sensation on this particular model. In terms of memory feel and bounce, again, I'd say very consistent with the other mattresses we just showed you, which is to say about an average amount of memory feel and an above average amount of bounce. In terms of edge support, we found the edge support to be not quite as good as the uh, plush model because of the fact that these additional comfort layers up at the top of the mattress, but still good. All right, so now we've moved over from the quilted side of the collection to the hybrid side. And I should just clarify, hybrids uh, in Beautyrest's terminology tend to look like this. They tend to have a stretch cover, no quilting. Um, that's what you have here. And they tend to have premium pressure relieving foams, typically memory foam right below that cover. And of course, pocket spring support unit. That's what we have in this model here. I also want to note that from a nomenclature standpoint, Beautyrest refers to its hybrid models typically in the model names with the letter X. So their hybrid B-class models are called BX class. So this is the BX class firm, which is now the entry level model on the Beautyrest Black Hybrid collection. And we would classify this as a firm on our softness spectrum. And uh, again, our softness spectrum goes medium, medium firm, and then firm. However, from the standpoint of cushioning depth, we would classify this as kind of a medium or average amount of cushioning depth, meaning kind of an even blend of sleeping in your mattress versus sleeping on your mattress. I, I want to note that that is kind of interesting because 
When you have a hybrid construction like this, this is where you tend to start to have the potential, at least, to see separation between the amount of softness and the amount of cushioning depth. Typically, the more softness, the more cushioning depth. The less softness, the less cushioning depth. But when you have uh, sort of memory foams that can be a little bit more firmer initially, like the ones here, you can have uh, surface firmness at which you would normally think goes along with very little cushioning depth, but here, you actually have that surface firmness, but you actually still get a little bit more, or you get an average amount of that hugged or cradled sensation. So you get a little bit more cushioning depth than you'd expect to have for this amount of firmness. In terms of memory feel, we found that because of the additional memory foam that you have here relative to the quilted models, we did notice uh, a little bit more memory feel, slightly above average overall amount of memory feel. Bounce on the converse was a little bit mitigated by that additional memory foam. Memory foam is inherently shock absorbing. So we found that the bounce is still above average, but only slightly above average on account of that memory foam kind of counterbalancing it a bit. And in terms of edge support, we found the edge support here to be excellent. All right, now we've moved on to the second of the two hybrids and the last of the six B-Class models that we're gonna show you here in this video. And this is the BX Class Plush. We would classify this as a medium soft on our softness spectrum, which is just to the softer side of medium. And in terms of cushioning depth, we would classify this as having deeper than average cushioning, which is one category deeper than what we talked about on the BX Class Firm. So you're gonna get a little bit more of that hugged or cradled sensation and a little bit more conformance for your curvy parts, particularly your shoulders and your hips, when you're sleeping on your sides. Uh, in terms of memory feel, we felt like, again, this was a, a little bit notch, uh, higher amount of memory feel from what we felt on the BX class firm. Uh, it's interesting because the overall amount of memory foam is the same in both of these two models. We just felt like it's a little bit more palpable, a little bit more noticeable. You get a little bit more of that slow melting sensation and delayed recovery uh, with the softer formulation of memory foam used on the BX Class Plush. In terms of bounce, we found it to be very similar, just slightly above average amount of bounce. And then in terms of edge support, the softer memory foam did impact the edge a little bit, but we still found that the edge here was very good. So there you have it. We hope you found this to be a helpful overview of these brand new additions to the Beautyrest Black lineup. Now we covered a lot of ground in this video, but there was still a lot of detail that we couldn't get to, such as our assessments on adjustable base compatibility or motion isolation or spinal alignment and pressure relief and the like. So if you are serious about these mattresses, we would recommend that you go to goodbed.com and check out our full write-ups of these products, as well as use our side-by-side -side comparison tool where you're gonna be able to see all of our full ratings and assessments of these mattresses and put them side by side, the ones that you're most interested in so that you can make the best choice possible. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we really hope you sleep well.